good now let's apply that that all that uh, all that you know information characteristics you know equations uh, in DC circuits okay that will be used later as uh, as we say biasing for amplifiers for example so let's have examples now let's go to another uh, first example so consider an NMOS transistor fabricated with a length equal to a 0.18 micrometer so the length of the channel is 0.18 micrometer and so it says two micrometers uh, when we fabricate it COX was 8.6 femtofarad per micrometer square uh, mu in the mobility was 450 centimeter square volt second and the threshold was 0.5 volt the threshold voltage of the transistor of the, of the MOSFET was 0.5 volt find VGS and VDS that result in MOSFET operating in the, at the edge of the saturation with ID equal to 100 micro amperes. So let's solve A first. So, so ID is equal to 100 micro amperes. And we are working at the edge of saturation, which means that VDS equal to VGS minus V threshold. Okay, so ID equal to half Kn VGS minus V threshold square. Kn is equal to mu N COX W over L. And be careful here because uh, some of the constants are in, you know, micrometers and some of them are in centimeters, okay? So you either convert all of them to centimeters or convert all of them to meters, whatever you do, okay? But unify all uh, the dimensions, either centimeter or uh, meters, okay? So if you, uh, so we know the mu n is 450, COX is 8.6 fem2, and fem2 is uh, 10 to the power minus 15. Uh, w is uh, 2 micro, and L is also known, 0.18. So if we just make, make the uh, conversation here, so it will be 1.6 milliamperes per volt square. This is Kn, and the ID, so this guy is known, 1.6 uh, milliamperes, what square? This guy is known also. Uh, 100 micrometers, it's 0.1 milliampere. V threshold is also known, it's 0.5. So it's a direct, you know, compensation here. So from that, VGS is equal to uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, this is not. Uh, it was, this is actually 4.3, not 1.6, 4.3 milliamperes. Okay. So if we do that, uh, VGS is 0 0.51, 0 0.715 volt. And from that, we can get, because we know that VDS equal to VGS minus V threshold, so it's 0 0.51. 715 minus 0.5, so it is uh, 0.215 volt. This is number A. Good, number B. If VGS is kept constant, so we have VGS still at 0.715, find VDS that result in ID equal to 50 microamperes. Oh. So at the edge of saturation, the current was 100 microamperes. And now the current is 50. That means the current is decreased. So the current decreased to 50 microamperes. That means that we go into the linear region. So the transistor goes to the linear region. 
that means VDS reduced. So when we calculate it now, it should be less than uh, how much we get it? It should be less than 0.215. So again, here, if we go back to the characteristics, guys, so uh, we were at the edge with 100 micro, then it, it's reduced to 50. So for example, it was here, then it goes here. That means we are in the linear region. So VDS should, should decrease. So let's see how. So we know in, in linear region ID is equal to KN VGS minus V threshold. VGS is 0.715, V threshold is 0.5, VDS, which is unknown, minus half VDS square. ID is known, 50 micron. KN is also known, we got it 4.3 milli and bare volt square. VGS is still at its uh, value 7.15. V threshold point five. So the only unknown here is VDS, but remember this is a quadratic equation. So if you continue in that, you will find uh, this equation will reduce to half VDS square minus 0.215 VDS plus 0 0.116 equal to zero. This will give you two numbers. The first one or two solutions. VDS is equal to 0.366 and VDS equal to 0.6061. So which one to choose? Both are positives. Okay. And we expect always that VDS is positive. We always assume that ID is flowing from uh, the drain to the source, okay? So we just must be positive. We just also must be positive if the, if the transistor is, is conducting, is on. So which one to choose? We know that we are in the linear region, okay? So VDS should be less than VGS minus V threshold in linear region. And VGS minus V threshold is actually 0.215. So this is basically wrong. And this is only the valid solution because this is larger than, this one is larger than uh, VGS minus V threshold. And this one is less than VGS minus V threshold. Or with another, you know, concept, uh, we said that we go to the linear region, VDS should be decreased. It was 0.215. So this is larger than 2.215. So we must take this, which is 0.061. Good. That's a good example, actually. Another example, design the circuit shown so that the transistor operates at ID equal to 0.4 milliampere and VD is equal to half a volt. So VD is equal to half volt. ID is equal to uh, 0.4 milliampere. And V threshold has, uh, oh yeah. So there's a typo here. It's not actually a typo, but this book is used VT, you know, for V threshold. V threshold is equal to 0.7 volt. U in CUX is 100 microampere volt square. L equal to one micrometer and uh, the weight is 32 micrometer. Good. When it says design, that means find the resistors and uh, the resistors, or if you have a battery also, you know, but mainly the resistors. So RD is unknown and RS is also unknown in that circuit. Okay. 
We know VD and we know ID. So basically, we know that ID equal to ID is flowing from that point, you know, to the ground, not to the ground, to the minus VSS or minus 2.5. So it's flowing in that direction. So we can determine it from between uh, that point and that point. So it's equal to 2.5 minus VD over RD. This is equal to 0.4 milliamperes. And VD is known. VD is 0.5. So the only unknown here is RD. So from that, RD will be equal to Five kilo ohms. Good. Now RS. For RS, we need to know in which region the transistor is working, either linear or saturation. Okay, we know VG. So VG here, this is a gate. The gate is connected to ground. So again, this is a symbol of the transistor. This is the gate, the arrow at the source, and here is the drain. And we usually neglect the fourth terminal, which is the bulk, as I said before. So VG is equal to zero here. And the VD is equal to 0.5. So we know that if VDS is larger than VGS minus V threshold, we would be working in the saturation region. Is that the case? We have here VD and VG. That's fine, you know. Just subtract VS from here and VS from here. So it's the same stuff. So if you subtract the same stuff, you know. So we have let's let's do it in. in in more, you know, uh, detailed way. So VG, VD minus VS, VG minus VS. So now VG is zero. And so let's, okay, let's go back a little bit. So VD is, is half and the VG is zero. So we know that VD is larger than or greater than VG. Good. Subtract VS from both sides. We didn't do anything. So this is VDS, is larger than VGS. If you are, you know, greater than something, then if you subtract something from this, this guy will be more larger. I mean, five is larger than two. So five is also larger than two minus one, for example, which is one, right? So, so again, it will be larger if subtracts V threshold. Good. So, Based on that, we are working in the saturation region. So based on that, we are the transistor is working in saturation region. So we can say that ID equal to F K N V G S minus V threshold square V threshold is known how much it is it is uh, 0.7 ID is known it is 0.4 milliamperes how about KN KN is equal to let's let's calculate it KN is equal to uh, mu n two x multiplied by W over L. Mu n two x is 100. W is uh, uh, 32. And L is 1. 1 micro and 32 micro. So we know it. We know KN. So 
So the only unknown here is VGS. So from that equation, we can calculate VGS. VGS would be 1.2 volt. This is equal to VG minus VS, right? Equal to 1.2. VG is zero. So VS is equal to minus 1.2. So we know now the voltage at that point, minus 1.2. And the ID also equal to Vs minus minus 2.5 over Rs. This is equal to 0.4 milliamperes. And Vs, we got it one, minus 1.2, minus, minus would become positive over Rs. Rs is unknown. So from that, Rs is equal to 3.25 kilo ohms. Okay. Now we just want to check on a site. It's not part of the, of the problem. We just to check on ourselves. So we need to see that VDS. We know that VDS is larger than VGS minus V threshold, but we will do it now, you know, with the numbers. So VDS is equal to VD minus VS. So VD is how much? 0.5 and Vs is minus 1.2, so this is 1.7. Okay, and Vgs, we just got it 1.2. Vgs minus V threshold is 0.7 because uh, V threshold is, is, is half. So let's compare them Vds, which is 1.7, and here is Vgs minus V threshold, which is 0.7. That's, of course, larger than that. So the saturation assumption that we, you know, uh, introduce is correct. It's actually correct without doing that, but just to check on ourselves, on our numbers. Okay. 